Season 8 of NBA 2K22 is finally here. Before I show you guys the new best drill moves in the game. If you guys haven't heard, I officially have a new IRL channel. It's called Life of Soul. I'm going to post a lot of pranks on here, challenge videos, basketball videos, all IRL content is going to be on this channel. So go in the description and be one of the first subs before I even post a video and post my first video in a couple weeks. I'm really looking forward to making content on this channel and just growing this channel in general. So be one of the first subs, be one of the OG subs. Click the link in the description and sub up to Life of Soul. What's up guys, it's Solo back with another video. Now today, as you guys know, Season 8 is officially here. And what that means is I gotta show you guys the new best drill moves in the game because if you guys don't know every single season 2k has added new dribble moves it's their way of keeping things fresh throughout the year and i'm just going to be honest this video with the new drill moves for season eight this one's going to be an interesting one i'm going to tell you which drill moves they added that are terrible which ones are kind of decent and which ones are good but over the last couple weeks i've actually been in the lab i've been working on my drill moves a lot and i found some new really good drill moves really fast dribble moves and these drill moves were not added in season eight also just so you guys know this is not not a dribble tutorial video but at the end of the video i will show you guys how to do a couple of the moves this video is mainly just talking about the best drill moves in the game as you guys can see down there on the bottom of your screen i'm already level 28 i've been playing a lot on the first day and i've got a chance to use every single drill move that they added into the game most of them are pretty bad but we're gonna get into that if you guys didn't see the season rewards for season eight look at what the level 40 reward is let me know what you guys think of this it's just a shoe that makes you run fast around the cruise ship or the city when you get it it doesn't do anything Thing in game i mean you can wear it it looks kind of clean but it just makes you run fast around the cruise ship. if you guys are watching this video comment one to ten ten being the best reward ever one being a terrible reward let me know what you guys think of this reward and before i head to my my court and i tell you guys what the best drill moves are if you guys haven't subbed to this channel make sure to press the red subscribe button sub up we're on the road to 600k and turn on my post notifications you guys don't miss a streamer upload i know there's a lot of people that like to skip around in videos like these but if you guys are still watching comment when you subscribe to my channel whether it was two years ago or today let me know in the comments i'm going to go through all the comments and heart them and drop a like in this video but without further ado let's hop into it All right, so I'm now in my mic court. And before I show you guys what the best drill moves are, and I'm gonna go through each one, I wanna show you guys my controller settings because a lot of people ask me about this. And to be honest, the only things you really gotta change is shot meter to off. That's mainly a jump shot thing. You know, it doesn't have to do with dribbling, but shot meter off, it's gonna help you and give you a boost to all your shots. And then pro stick function, I like to put it on drill moves. A lot of people keep it on default, but this just helps me dribble. I can't really explain it, but ever since season one, I've put it on dribble moves. And then you guys wanna make sure that this is on absolute for pro stick orientation. And I'll scroll down here if you guys want the rest of them you could just pause the video but they don't really matter that much and real quick looking at my playmaker badges this is what i'm using these five hall of fame badges all the purple ones those are the most important badges when it comes to dribbling now i have heard that you guys only need quick chain on bronze like i've heard that bronze acts the same as hall of fame so it doesn't really change anything and i did test it out on my new build not this one but on my other build i tested it out and it seems to work pretty well on bronze so you guys could test this out if you want but i'm not saying it's 100 percent valid that bronze and hall of fame is the same but if you're running low on badge points or you have a new build just put quick chain on bronze all right now it's time to talk about the best and also the worst drill moves in the game of course i'm specifically talking about the season eight drill moves and i have tested every single one of them so these are not the best six in the game you know i know there's some people that pause the video they skip around these are not the six i'm about to hop into each one and tell you guys which ones you should use and which ones you should not use at all and in season eight they added 10 new dribble moves so let's hop into it so the only dribble style that they added this season is Kemba Walker and this one is not terrible but I would say it's more of like a mid dribble move like it's not awful but it's not great it's kind of in the middle and it kind of reminds me of Paul George dribble style some of you guys watching this video probably use Paul George it kind of gives you a quick speed boost but with Kemba it's just like a little bit slower so if you want a dribble style that's kind of like that then I would say go with Paul George but the one that I use is quick but in my opinion the only valid ones that I've heard a lot of people use is quick Paul George and then if I scroll down here I mean I've heard Steve Nash but I don't really know anyone that uses that. I think Stockton is a valid one. And then I've also heard people using C Gray. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really recommend that, but I've heard people use that. But for me, I'm going to go with quick. I feel like it gives me the most explosive moves, especially when it comes to my misdirection behind the back. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And some of you guys are just very confused, but trust me, just put on quick. All right, now for signature size ups. And they actually added four new signature size ups into the season. They love adding a ton.
ton of signature sizes but as you guys can see i have so many signature sizes that i bought throughout the year the first one that they added this season is going to be john Morant, and you guys know john Morant. he's a pretty good playmaker in real basketball but in this game his signature size up is really clunky and it's honestly one of the slower signature size ups that i've seen them add this year so i would stay away from this one i don't recommend it at all the next one that they added in season eight is going to be jamal murray it's right next to john Morant. you guys see it on the right side my player is you know doing the signature size up this one's a little bit better than john Morant, but from what i noticed when i was using it it's still clunky and slow so i definitely would not recommend this one either now the third one they added in season eight is going to be john wall you guys see my player doing it on the right side and i wish i could tell you that this one was quick but to be honest this one is also pretty slow and weird i would not use this one either as there's just way better options and the fourth and final one that they added in season eight is going to be jay williams and i'm going to be honest this is by far the best one that they added it's okay like it's not great but it's not terrible it's the best one that they added but it doesn't give me the glitchy crossover i'm sure if you guys have seen my dream move videos before my dribble tutorials you guys know about the glitchy crossover or maybe you haven't seen it and you just know what the glitchy crossover is you're gonna need a different size up in order to do that and jay williams is just not that one but it is the best one that they added in season eight but all four of them are pretty bad so i would not use a season eight signature size up now when it comes to signature size ups obviously all builds do not have all the drew moves unlocked but if you have d rose unlocked this is by far in my opinion the best signature size up in the game all the stage guards use d rose i use d rose pretty much everyone that i know uses d rose and unless you can't get this move there's no reason for you not to use it this will be able to give you the glitchy crossover that i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video so put on d rose and if your guys's ball handle is too low to the point where you can't get d rose you guys could look at steve francis even though i think that came out in another season so if you didn't buy it i don't know if you can have it i'm pretty sure you can't you could also look at d fox if you have that and then donovan mitchell is another solid one but again i think these are seasonal so i don't know if you're going to be able to get them if you didn't buy them in those seasons so in season eight they actually added three new signature combos and if you guys have watched my drill move videos before you guys know how i feel about signature combos i don't really activate them ever so it doesn't really matter too much i don't like spending too much time on them but they did add three of them in this season and the first one they added is Steph Steph Curry and I'm gonna be honest this one has pretty quick speed boost out of it like off the first move if you guys want to you know activate it basically what you guys got to do is hold right trigger or R2 and then just flick up on the right stick and it's gonna play out a sequence of dream you guys see my player doing it on the right side that's basically what happens and if you guys want to run off the first crossover or the first move it actually gives you a pretty quick speed boost but I'm still not gonna be using this I would rather create my own drip moves and combos rather than 2k just playing out a sequence of moves like it is on the right side of your screen Screen. doesn't really matter because i don't do this anyways but i won't be putting on steph curry the next one that they added in season eight is going to be steve francis you guys see it on the right side of your screen it's a little bit more flashy than steph curry's and again off the first move i did notice some pretty quick speed boost so if you're into signature combos i mean this one's pretty solid when it comes to the speed boost off the first move the third and final signature combo that they added in season eight is going to be kemba walker now i know i've been ranting and all year i've been saying how bad signature combos are but when it comes to kemba walker i think this is probably the best dream move that they added in all of season eight which is very surprising because it's a signature combo and what that also means is that they just really didn't add good drew moves in season eight but this kemba walker signature combo gives like a weird hitch on the first move that looks kind of clean and i only used it for like a couple games and i was in the my court for like a couple minutes but the first move is like a weird hitch that you can then do a cross for it's kind of confusing i actually am going to use kemba walker signature combos the one that i used to use in the past is jay williams which is right down here but again i didn't really ever act activate this but Kemba Walker signature combo is kind of glitchy and one that I'm going to test out for another couple days here all right so now we're talking about size up escape packages and the only one that they added in season eight is going to be Kyrie Irving now I'm going to ask you guys a question when it comes to NBA history I, I know there's a couple of you guys that just don't watch basketball at all but for some reason you play 2k that's that's completely fine but think of the three best dribblers in NBA history. I'll give you guys a couple seconds here. Just think of three of them. Just think of three. Doesn't really matter. All right, hopefully by now you got your three, or maybe you didn't get three, but one of them is probably Kyrie Irving. One of the people you thought of is probably Kyrie Irving. So you probably think when they add a Kyrie Irving drill move into 2K, it's probably going to be pretty glitchy. It's probably going to be pretty quick. No, this is probably one of, if not the worst size of escape package I've seen added into the game. You guys know that crab move, that like long, hezzy, like off to the side move that a lot of people do. I do it all the time. Like this Kyrie Irving escape package gives you like the worst move off that like it moves your player over like an inch and it's really slow like I'm telling you guys if you guys put this on and go in your my court like you guys will know what I'm talking about this is just an awful move the behind the back is weird on it and it just feels weird like just do not use Kyrie Irving I know they just added it and he's a good dribbler in real life but this is 
an awful move. And so if you guys can get it, by far the best size of a skate package in the game is going to be Trey Young. It's been this way all year and it's not changing. Maybe in season nine, I doubt it. But Trey Young gives you the best like side to side long hezzies, the best behind the back. Like it's just the best overall. Now, if you guys do have Steph Curry, which they dropped in season seven, this is the second best one just because of the Curry slide. But like the side to side long hezzies or whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those moves on Steph Curry is really not that good, but you do get the Curry slide with this. But I would still recommend using Trey Young. Pretty much all the people that play stage all the time, like all the guards, all the best guards, just use Trey Young. Although if you are a beginner or you're newer, the Curry slide could help you out a lot because it's such a kill move for people that don't know a lot of moves. You could use Steph Curry size of escape package, but I'm going to put on Trey Young. For moving crossovers in season eight, they did not add any new ones. And the one that I've been using the last couple seasons is going to be Giannis. It gives me the cleanest moving crossover. You know, if you're running down the court and you want to do a crossover, Giannis is going to give you the cleanest one. So put that on. For moving behind the backs in season eight they did not add a single new moving behind the back and you guys see here i only have five moving behind the backs and a lot of these were in the game at the beginning i feel like they've like not added any new moving behind the backs this year maybe like two maybe they added curry and harden i don't know i i literally think that might be it like i swear they did not add moving behind the backs but the best one the cleanest one you guys see it on the right it's just such a smooth behind the back is Kawhi leonard i know there's people that like damian lillard i don't really get that but i mean you guys could try that out if you want but the Kawhi leonard moving behind the back is just so much quicker so much cleaner and that's going to be the one that we go with even though i don't really do behind the backs in game now for moving spins in season eight they did not add any new moving spins and i'm not gonna lie it doesn't really matter because in 2k22 no one really does spin moves i mean unless you're a certain type of dribbler that's you know weird no one does moving spins but the one that i do have on is penny hardaway some people use basic um, but I'm going to put on Penny. For moving hesitations in Season 8, again, they did not add a drill move here. And the one that I've been using is Kevin Durant. But to be honest, I don't ever really do moving hesitations. So this doesn't really matter. All right, now for moving step backs. And I think this is the last drill move they added in the entire season. This is going to be Steph Curry moving step backs. And this is one of the drill moves that I really want to talk about. I'm not talking about Steph Curry. I'm talking about moving step backs. I found a new one that I like the most. But first, obviously, we got to talk about the Steph Curry moving step back because that's what they added in Season 8. I'm going to be honest. A step back is okay. You guys will see him doing it over there on the right side. Give it a few seconds here. That right there. It's okay. I mean, it looks just like Steph Curry in real life. And when it comes to the fake peak, if you guys know what a fake peak is, there's only probably 10% of you guys that know what a fake peak is. It's pretty good on this move, surprisingly. But the best fake peak is going to be with the Giannis moving step back. And then also with this moving step back, you cannot Asta. So I know some of you guys, probably even less, know what an Asta slide is. Like it's more of like a stage move. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it at the end of this video. It's a very simple move and it's pretty like glitchy. But you can't do it with the Steph Curry moving step back. So I would not recommend this one. And so when it comes to which one I would recommend, a lot of people use Giannis because the fake peak is so quick. And I'll show you guys how to fake peak. It's basically like uh, some of you guys know like what a quick stop is, right? Like where you where you just stop on a dime and shoot. It looks like you're about to stop on a dime and shoot, but you keep running and a lot of defenders jump at it. So that's what a fake peak is. And Giannis gives you the best one. But if you guys want to ask the slide, which is a move that I've been doing a lot and it's just so effective, especially if you play threes then surprisingly you guys actually want to put on normal step back so i'm not even joking when i say this but i've been using normal step back and the fake peak is also pretty solid with this one i'm going to show you guys how to ask the slide later on in the video put on normal step back because this is one of the most crucial dribble moves all right so that's going to do it for the new dribble moves in season eight but the video is not over don't worry the video is not over if you got the drill moves now now i'm going to show you guys how to create your own combos and how to do some of the most simple moves because i do have a dribble tutorial video that i released like a week ago that's going to be more advanced with the hand cam but i figured you know i'll show you guys some of the simple moves and also some of the new moves that i learned throughout the last week when i've been preparing and practicing more for wagers which i'm going to start doing a lot this summer now real quick sub up to the channel if you guys haven't also new iro channel link will be in the description it's called life of solo i'm posting my first videos within the next couple weeks and drop a like in this video because i do have a new jump shot if this video gets to 10k likes i will drop another jump shot video even though i don't really want to because it's already july but screw it if this video just 10k likes i'll drop that without further ado let's hop into the simple dribble tutorial and real quick because people always ask me how i do this you guys want to take out your phone go to squad up and then look everyone from your nba team is going to be down here you guys want to invite someone that's not that good at defense so i'm gonna invite tyus jones press a to play with friends scroll all the way down to personal workout bang press start put yourself on offense put him on defense and now you're going to be able to dribble in a full court setting all right so the first move that i'm going to show you guys how to do is going to be the asta slide which is one of the most simple moves in the game and like i said you 
guys need normal step back on in order to do it so i'm going to run down the court and it's honestly going to look like a crossover but what this move does is it crabs your defender a lot and if you guys know what that means basically your defender gets stuck behind you and then you just have a wide open shot first i don't know why it happens but it happens a lot with this move like if you guys hop in the threes court and do it you guys will know what i'm talking about but look so i'm gonna run down watch this you just flick down on the right stick that's the move right there so you're running you're running you just flick down on the right stick and it gives you that move right there so i'll show you what it'll look like i mean obviously i wouldn't really dribble this far back like in the backcourt but you know you're dribbling around you're dribbling around bang you hit him with that and then you could just combo right out of it like i don't normally let the dribble move play out fully like this like i wouldn't just like stand there and be like okay let me wait for it to finish you know i would start dribbling pretty much right after i do the move just like that and comboing out of it and it's just like something to throw in there something that looks pretty clean in your combos and it usually gets the defender stuck behind you and then you have a wide open shot so that is one of the new moves that i actually learned within the last couple weeks the other one is actually gonna be the fake peak which looks just like that so it kind of looks like i'm gonna stop for a shot but then i just keep running and keep in mind i do have a normal step back and the step back that you have on is gonna be the one that determines what this fake peak looks like so let me show you what happens when i actually quit out of this and i put on Giannis moving step back which gives you a better fake peak all right so now i put on Giannis moving step back and let me show you guys what the fake peak looks now now this is probably the quickest one in the game i think there's like three that are pretty quick it's going to be Giannis moving step back i think chris paul and possibly john wall i think that might be the other one but Giannis gives you the quickest animation so if you guys really care about this move then you can put on Giannis. and all you guys got to do for this is just tap your left trigger or if you're on playstation i think it would be l2 so you're just running you're running you're running and you just tap left trigger yeah it's basically it. you're just sprinting left trigger just like that you can spam it if you want to and usually the defender ends up jumping but what i normally do is like do it like once or twice like i wouldn't be running around doing it five times in one possession that's a little od but for me i'm I'm gonna put back on the normal moving step back so that i can do the asa slide and it also has a decent fake p all right now this is a very simple move that you can do on any build and for some reason a lot of people still get it wrong so what you guys want to do is you got the ball in your left hand it doesn't really really matter what hand you're you got the ball in but right stick's gonna go up left stick's gonna go down you just flick the sticks at the same time and it does that sort of pull down move just like that that little step back if you want to call it that and you can spam it once you get the timing down it's just a right stick up left stick down you literally flick them at the same exact time once again right stick up left stick down it doesn't matter where hand the ball's in you do the same thing no matter what side the ball is on and that's a very simple move it kind of snatches your defender like i have an ai on me so obviously he's not gonna get fooled by it but you know what i'm saying like picture yourself dribbling in game and then if you do that like he usually goes flying into the paint and actually i think i have a clip let me go to my clips real quick okay so this is my 6-2 play shot so i did make a new smaller build that's way quicker than this so i move way quicker than this now this isn't the clip i was talking about but i low-key was moving in this clip and i do do the pull down you guys saw i did the asa slide when i was coming down the court bang i did a peek right there i did do the pull down though in that move let me find the one i was actually talking about though all right so yeah this is the clip right here i was doing a party series against some of my friends you guys see double h's on my team so look at this i'm just dribbling around i'm gonna hit him with the pull down move bang he goes flying into the corner wide open shot i didn't green it but it still went in you guys get the gist your defenders usually go flying when you do this move especially if you haven't done it all game the next move i'm gonna do i'm not gonna spend too much time on it because i do have a full hand cam dribble tutorial so if you're confused just go to that video but it's gonna be this glitchy crossover where the ball kind of glitches into your other hand and then you just kind of run out of it or you can go the other way you know i did a glitchy crossover and i just run back that way and then you can also do this long hezzy i'm sure some of you guys know how to do this it's just right trigger you know the sprint button and then upwards left or upwards right on the right stick and then out of that you can do the glitchy crossover or again you can go the same way and that's a very crucial move as to like how i dribble this year and it's so simple like yeah maybe at first when you're trying to get it down it's a little difficult but once you do get it down it's one of the most simple moves in the game so the ball's my right hand all i want to do is flick top left with the right stick so upwards left it's like if it's a clock picture 10 30 on a clock i'm gonna flick up there and then right after i flick i'm gonna press the sprint button and i'm gonna run in that direction but it's crucial that you flick with the right stick first upwards to the top left and then you run up in that direction and if you want to do it the other way it's the same exact thing you just flick top right with the right stick and then run in that direction again watch the dribble tutorial if you guys want to know how to do that move and a lot of my more advanced moves like the misdirection behind the back i'm not going to explain it in this video because this is more of like 
showing you guys the best dribble moves not not so much a hand cam dribble tutorial so you guys can click the link in the description and watch my hand cam dribble tutorial if you guys want to know how to do moves like that or if you guys want to learn how to do more combos because obviously i didn't show you everything in this video but yeah if you guys haven't make sure to sub up I, I feel like i've been doing a good job you know every season when the new dream moves comes out testing them finding out what the best ones are you know i'm just trying to help you guys out that's part of my channel that i feel like is underrated like yeah i make content videos that you know where i try to entertain try to be funny but at the same time i post a lot of videos where i'm just trying to help people become better at 2k i hope that's what this video did if it did make sure to subscribe drop a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one